first thing first inside um programming today i'm going to um present you about um variable and data types um why is that one important uh let me just show you a little bit uh before uh, in order to understand about variables and data type i think you should understand the um working models of, of your computer uh first thing is how does your computer represent some data let's say if you have a uh, let me yeah, okay if you have a number like um 11 let's say okay mm, how do your computer represent numbers 11 inside that? Okay, 11 then um how do your computer represent number 11 inside the um computer and first thing first the computer has only the ability to represent two values only it's either zero or one only inside your computer because of its nature like it can only um, store positive or negative values then um, how do we represent some information like number 11 inside your computer with only zero or one values and zero or one values is called the um, binary base okay this one is called binary base let me just use chop equal to one this one's binary uh, base means um, you can uh, maximally express two values only either zero or one it's different from human uh, normal um, base which is we have zero one two three up until nine means you have um, 10 digits to um, express all of your uh, numbers it's called um, decimal base the De decimal base um, what is the difference between decimal base and, and binary base? Of course, uh, there is a uh, lots of complicated things. But I'm just gonna explain quickly, briefly. Let's say if you have a numbers, if you have a numbers of um, mm, um, two, three, five, uh, then this number five, um, this digit, this digit five, really, its values, its contribution inside this, its contribution inside the values of this number, is its values is really this five. Okay, but the number three here, the digits number three here, digit three here. Okay, it is this digit number three, but its contribution to the overall values of this number is actually three multiplied with three multiplied with ten power one means thirty. Doesn't mean three. Okay, the third digit here, which is the number two. Okay, its digit is number two. However its contribution for the overall values of this number is actually not two but 200 it means this one is actually mean two power uh, two multiply with 10 power two in order to prove that one you can just do this multiplication and plus with this one plus this one and you'll get back your total values which is 235 okay it's the same thing it's the same thing if you have zero you can just write zero if you have uh, for, for binary base if you have zero you can just write zero if you have one you can just write one however if you have some values which is greater than one you have to express them using more than one of these um, digits so let's just give that example so it's the same principle here the first digits will have the values of contribution to the values of 2 power 0 the second digits will have the contribution is 2 power 1 the third digits will have the contribution is 2 power 2 the four digits is going to have the contribution is 2 power 3 so on and so forth um, let's just uh, make an example to convert the our values which is 11 the 11 can be converted in 8 plus 3 um, it's also be converted into power of 2 multiples of power of 2 so uh, 8 plus uh, 2 plus 1 this one means this one means 2 power 0 this one means 2 power 1 and this one means 2 power 3 so it can be converted into this um, binary base as uh, 2 power 0 there is 1 so you have 1 2 power 1 there is 1 so you have 1 2 power 2 okay 2 power of 2 is missing here so you're going to have 0 over here 2 power 3 there is 1 2 power 3 so it's 1 so it is going to be converted into binary base of 1 0 1 1 this one is how do uh, computer how how do computers represent your data roughly um, you may have um, another questions about how do computer represent how do your computer represent let's say um, letters like letter A's and there are many ways to represent them but um, you can have one most common standards that you have to use which is the um, 
ASCII table. Okay, ASCII table. You may have some other standards like Unicode table. We're gonna make um, it's gonna be similar. So I'm gonna make use of ASCII table. ASCII table is what uh, it is a standard specifying that if you have a number, you have, if you have a letter A, it's gonna be converted into corresponding numbers, which is 65. And 65 itself is gonna be um, converted. Let's say A is 65. And 65 is actually going to be converted into 64 plus 1. So 64 is um, 2 power 6, I think. Uh, 2 power 6, I think. Then uh, plus 2 power 0. Then you convert it into uh, the sequence of this is like this one. Okay. Then you can store your A inside the computer. Okay. A can be um, converted into, let's say, 2 power 0 is 1. 2 power 1 is 0, 2 power 2 is 0, 2 power 3 is 0, 2 power 4 is 0, two, sorry, 2 power 5 is 0, and 2 power 6 is 1. So 65 won't be converted into 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, um, and represent that one, is represented inside your computer. Roughly is like that. So a is converted into um, 65 using ASCII, okay? And then from 65, it's converted into binaries, then it can be represented inside your computer. Now, let's just get back to um, our main thing, which is our programs. Any of our programs, any of our programs is actually um, consisting of these two parts. Um, you first need to have some input, you may need some input. The standard, the standard input one is like the keyboard one, or you may have other types of input, like input from far, input from networks, and so forth. Then after inputting, you um, going to normally you're going to store your data. Okay, okay, you're going to store your data, and in order to store your data, um, your computer is actually using um, variable. Okay, and variables, and the variable itself is going to um, be represent, uh, represented into some data type. The data type can be some primitive one or some um, mm, built-in, uh, some primitive one, some reference one, or some user-coded one. Okay, user-coded one. Um, mm, normally, user-coded one is belonging to reference types. Um, and after storing your data, it's going to... Um, we're going to study another part, which is to process your data. Okay. After process, it's going to do the output. This one is your program. And for this part, I'm explaining about um, how do the computer store data using variables. And when we talk about variables, you will also talk about data type. Data type. Uh, I will explain why. Uh, right after this, uh, your RAM is again um, your computer running. Your variables is actually stored inside the RAM, and if you um, stop the other case, and your variables going to be deleted, it's not inside the hard disk, so it's gonna be um, deleted. Your RAM is consists of sequence of bits as well, sequence of bits as well. Okay, and so the smallest unit of um, storable data inside your computer is bits. It can store either one or zero. However, the smallest usable unit inside your computer is actually one byte so all of your data is stored in form of bytes um, one byte means eight bits there one byte means eight bits okay so your data is um, um, uh, recorded in form of bytes then your ram is uh, addresses um, for the um, based on this byte so for the first um, first byte it's going to be addresses as zero so one two three four five six seven eight for another byte it's going to be addresses as one one two three four five six seven eight so um, mostly uh, roughly I'm not, I'm not so sure but this one zero one uh, this one going to be two and this one going to be three roughly roughly okay so you're going to have um, up until about uh, the maximum number of bytes of your um, RAM size let's say four gigabytes is it's roughly again about um, four millions uh, bytes addresses here okay roughly again um, that one is the structure of your um, RAM just to prove that one uh, your RAM here is mostly um, used to store your variables and just to prove that one you look at this one my computer is running several programs and each of the program is making use of um, uh, uh, numbers of, or amounts of megabytes 
uh, for storing, um, part of them is storing your variables. Okay, so what is a variables? Whenever you declare um, uh, variables like uh, x, okay, whenever you declare variable x, it's going to reserve inside your memory a location inside your memory. Okay, some location which as long as it's free. Okay, it's going to reserve some location inside your memory, which is um, used to store or used to store your data. Okay, used to store your data. That one is it's reserved locations inside your memory used to store your data. Um, so what is your variables now? The variable is a location inside the memory which can be used to access your data and can be used to store your data as well. So instead of mem um, uh, uh, working with the um, address of the RAM, address of the memory is difficult. You can just remember the name which is X so that you can store the value into the RAM and you can load uh, the values from the RAM. The computer application is going to help you to do that. You don't have to work with the memory address. Then, uh, so uh, that one is what it means about the variable. Again, uh, just to summarize, variable is um, a name for memory locations okay, used to store data and later can be retrieved. Okay, and of course, when it stores your data, when it stores your data variable, okay, and uh, when it stores your data, when it stores your data, uh, just when it stores your data, um, it must be represented represented into in form of one zero one zero and zero sequence of bits like what I said before. But there is another important um, thing that you have to understand inside this memory model is the data type. You know, you have many bytes here, sequence bits here. So if you declare, let's say, if you declare um, a variable of type int, let me just give one primitive, very frequently used, a type int. So um, the int here is actually, the int here is actually um, defined by uh, data type Data type. Data type is a um, set of allowable, allowable values, um, set of variable defined. This data type defined the set of allowable. It's defined. Set of allowable values can be um, stored in a variable. Okay, like you say, in X, you can only store um, integers inside your. Um, variable you can store other things like um, a string or mm, the floats and so on and so forth okay so that one is our data type okay that one is our data type and there is um, some other there are some other information that you need the data type for the first thing is um, the first thing is for knowing the size of memory why do we need to know the size of memories okay why do you need to know the size of the memory? The reason is, you know, I said that it's, it's a memory locations inside the RAM, but how many bytes or how many bits it's going to use to store that values? Okay, you have like after this location, you have a lots of bytes and bits here. How many bits are you going to take? That one is a full thing. So for integer, let's say you know that the for integer it's going to the size of integer is going to be four. So you can have four bytes, I mean 32 bits to represent about uh, 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 integer values. Then also, another information that you can get from um, the integer in information is you know how to convert, you know how to convert the uh, sequence of bytes here to um, the values. Okay, let's say all of the, all of the uh, data represented inside your RAM in sequence of bytes, bits. When you load them up, you know how can you know that this one is a float, or this one is actually an integer, or this one is actually mm, a character? So this one you need to know, um, uh, or the data type you provide you another um, information, which is the types of data or the way for us to convert the um, sequence of bytes into data. Okay, so that's why data type defined the set of allowable values means um, how many values are there and what kinds of values is that? How many values is based on the size and what kinds of values is that will allow us to convert the data back into integer number or into characters or into floats or into doubles, so on and so forth. So let's just give an example here now. Uh, when we do int x, you declare int x. x now is a name of the memory location, let's say inside address of um, somewhere. Uh,